are at least 200 to 300 ringgit it is only for 6 pm to 10 pm that is 4 hours of electricity the key is there is a lot of saving and the level of service is actually very much better than previously my name is Adrian Van Kasimba we are one of the winner of the star golden pass award was like 1998 remember that there's like uh, el nino was like really bad that time a lot of uh, drought long drought and i realized that one of my project in pitas the only reason why they had water even during that six month drought was they were able to protect a small patch of forest i embarked on a pilot project and yes it really worked because when the community connect the electricity that they are receiving to the watershed then they will do all they can to actually protect the forest when we tie it in with conservation we found that the funder also get what they want the community gets what they want and we get what we want to do uh, our conservation program ini air sebenarnya satu tenaga tau yang comparatively uh, With other renewables, this is still far cheaper compared to solar. That is why uh, we still prefer uh, hydro as much as possible. But when there is not enough water resources, we try to also use hybrid system, like combining hydro and solar. And the challenge was there's not many people who are willing to go out really to the deep and do this work. Um, so it's really some sort of challenge to also have the right human resources to help you we have basically to create this ecosystem where people can learn by keeping doing it there, there will be enough people to have experience uh, later on uh, become like uh, our resource person after we have done over 40 projects we have at least 40 communities that we can reach out to if you need to get some help yeah do three things uh, one is um, community empowerment uh, we work with indigenous communities in very much uh, the the remote rural areas empowering them through rural electrification using renewable energy the second program we are looking at environment try to recycle materials such as aluminium plastic to make our our turbines the third part is r&d we design and build these tools for for the community so that they can improve their livelihood. We believe that any technology has to be in the hands of the community that use it. We invest quite a lot of time to actually make sure that our community operators have a level of competency uh, on how to operate the system to make sure that it's safe and it is also well kept. <laughs>